Every bear in this sanctuary is a rescued dancing bear, now living in retirement in large natural enclosures with plenty to keep them entertained. While the bears are in another part of the sanctuary, I'm going to hide some of their very favourite food to show you exactly what makes the sloth bear so deadly. That should be a good bear challenge. This isn't just for our benefit. After a life in chains, this gives them a chance to act like wild bears again. And these logs here, they've got holes in them which I'm filling up with honey and bits of dates. Right, let's get out of here before the bears come back. Me and the crew retreat safely behind the fence to watch proceedings. It's hard to believe that these fluffy bears can be more deadly than a tiger. Bears have just come tearing over out of their enclosure and they can sniff the food a mile away. Oh my life, look at those claws. That is some serious weaponry. This one here is digging using those, those long claws. Those would be in the wild used for just this purpose, but mostly for digging into termite mounds, digging up bees, actually sucking up the honey like they're doing with their lips now. Go on, son. You can get it. That's the way. He's got it. He's got it. He's got the watermelon. Oh, nearly. Pretty impressive, though, that a bear of that size can hang himself off a spindly little tree like that. <laughs> it's just pure comedy. I can't put an animal on a deadly 60 that looks like a clown hangs upside down by its feet. <laughs> The sloth bear's amazing strength and claws may be perfect for finding termites and honey, but there's no denying their deadly potential. Oh, my life! It's just gone absolutely mad! All of a sudden, they've just gone from gentle feeding teddy bears to just a whirling mess of teeth and... I'm glad I'm not in there. This is why sloth bears can be so dangerous to people. They can just turn in an instant. They are utterly unpredictable. And when they do, they're strong, they're powerful, they've got those awe-inspiring claws. You really wouldn't want to be around one when it got angry. That fight just broke out over a piece of watermelon. These bears will fight teeth and claw to defend their food and their young. They'll even repel leopards and tigers. They rely on their sense of smell to find termites and honey, and their eyesight is terrible, which means they're easily surprised. And their first instinct is to lash out. And this is when people can be in real trouble. <laughs> 